adding mixed numbers. You've learned to add fractions and subtract them. Now we're going to add mixed numbers. I'm going to show you the easy way to do this. We do the problem in two steps. First, we add the fractional parts. Then we deal with the whole number parts. Think of it as saving the easy part for last. And there's an important reason why we work with the whole numbers last. And you'll get that in just a moment. Back to our problem then. We do the fractions part first. We have a common denominator, 11. Our answer will be some number of parts out of 11. Put that in now. Next, we add the numerators. 5 plus 3 plus 7. 7 plus 3 is 10, plus 5 is 15. 15 over 11. It's an improper fraction. We can't leave it like that. We have to make a mixed number. How many 11s in 15? There's one whole group of 11 and a remainder of 4. Put that over our denominator of 11. Now, on the next line down, we add the whole ones together. 4 plus 2 plus 5 is 11, plus this other one from the mixed number. That's 12. Our final answer is 12 and 4 elevenths. That's why we do the fraction part first, and then we add the whole ones at the end, in case of mixed numbers. This way, we don't forget anything. This way, we get it right. And by the way, did you notice how I kept all my fractions and whole numbers exactly in line with the originals? This lets me make sure I haven't left anything out. Set your work out like this too. It'll help you as you develop this math skill. Last example, and then it's your turn. Of course, you're going to get problems where you have mixed numbers with different denominators. So here we go. You know we separate wholes from fractions, and you know we need to make a common denominator to add the fractions. Our denominators are 4, 6 and 2. These don't play nicely together. We need a new common denominator for all of them. We multiply the largest and the smallest values together. 6 times 2 is 12. 12 is also in the 4 times table, so our lowest common denominator is 12. To turn 4 into 12, we multiply by 3, so we do the same for the numerator. 3 times 3 is 9. And for 5 sixths, to turn 6 into 12, we multiply by 2, so same up top. 5 times 2 is 10. And to turn 2 into 12, we multiply by 6, same again for the numerator. And our answer will be some number over 12. Now we add the numerators. 9 plus 10 is 19, plus 6, that's 25 over 12. It's an improper fraction. We have to make a mixed number. You know the routine. How many 12s in 25? Two 12s are 24, so there's two whole ones here, and a remainder of 1. Put in the denominator of 12. Now we add the whole numbers. 9 plus 4 is 13. Plus 3 is 16, plus the 2 from the mixed number, that's 18. Our final answer is 18 and 1 twelfth. I hope you can see that setting your work out carefully is very important. Follow my method and you got this. As always, a thumbs up would be very nice if this vid helped you. Now go and ace this math skill with some practice for yourself. See you next time.